I recently had my very first solo art gallery exhibit and it was a really cool experience so I thought I'd give you some of my takeaways, things that I learned and maybe some advice for those of you who might be thinking about exhibiting their own artwork. <laughs> Greetings people of the internet, I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome mad creators to the underground laboratory where we create robots, alien zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And then uh, sometimes we take those things and we bring them to an art space and we exhibit there. And uh, that's what I just did. When I say sometimes, I mean once, because I've only done it once. It was my first show, but it was really cool. So I wanna, I wanna kind of, I wanna show you some, some shots, some footage from the actual art exhibit and kind of the goings on around, that kind of surrounded the art exhibit. It was, it was kind of in the middle of this thing called First Friday that's this big to do where there's a lot of people there, which was cool because it drove a lot of traffic to my art exhibit. Um, but I wanna, I wanna show you some of that. I wanna talk about things that I learned because this was a new experience. For me and uh, and uh, share a few tips and things uh, of different ways that you might be able to show your art places things like that so uh, yeah so I think we are going to go up to the parallelescope and kind of go through space time alternate dimensions and see and kind of take 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 a little like a window into this uh, into this art exhibit so let's check it out Here we are at the space I'm exhibiting at, uh, Cocoon Art Space. So this whole area used to be residential houses, but since there's so much traffic, it's kind of the da this downtown area. We've kind of, they've converted everything to uh, commercial spaces. But you can see out front where I kind of had some ads, trying to, you know, sandwich boards and things, trying to bring people in, because there's going to be a lot of street traffic. Now it's not a huge space, but that's fine with me because I don't have a lot of artwork. But uh, I, I guess I have, I do have a decent amount of artwork, but I don't have a lot of large pieces. I'm used to showing at comic conventions and things, so you know the pieces you're seeing here are probably about the biggest that I get. Um, so you know a lot of people that do more fine art are working a lot larger. So it takes a little more to fill the space, and that's one of the things, one of the tips I want to tell you is make sure you have enough artwork to fill the space. So if you're in a large space, you're going to need a lot of artwork. Uh, typically, probably 20 to 30 pieces or more. I think I had probably about 20 big pieces, and then I had a lot of smaller pieces. My show was two nights non-consecutive. There was first Friday and third Friday. And first Friday, like I said, is is just this large kind of street fair gathering and everything. So we had anywhere from 1,500 to 12,000 people come through just my exhibit, which is pretty awesome. Uh, third Friday, probably not even a quarter of that. But um, but it's different clientele. Like like I think the people that came in on first Friday were there just kind of check things out, kind of walking through. Third Friday was a lot of more local residents, more serious art buyers, people that I actually invited that came down because it wasn't as hectic and everything. But surprisingly, I made more money on, on the third Friday, the second show, which that I wasn't. That was a pleasant surprise, actually. I don't want to give the impression that it, it's all about money, though, because it, it's really much more when you're doing these art shows. It's sort of like a community. It's very different. It's like a community vibe and everything. You get to talk to people. You get to kind of observe people, how they react to your artwork. And it's it's almost the I mean the notwithstanding the, the whatever you know you're earning from your artwork at these shows, you're also you know making kind of inroads with people. It's it's just it's it's weird. Like I hate I, I don't really like the word exposure, but just for lack of a better word, you do get a lot of exposure with with uh, you know doing a show like this because you're out in the public. People start to realize you. People take tons of your cards and things like that. And it's different. It's a little different than comic conventions. But I made so met so many cool people. Um, just like you know, I, I, I there's there and you know, opportun people with these sort of opportunities other than just the artwork. Uh, there was a teacher that you know approached me, wanted me to you know teach his art, his illustration or Adobe Illustrator art program, which I couldn't really do, but it was still kind of cool. But there was tons of these sort of opportunities. There were you know there was a I don't know if he was a school counselor or a counselor. He you know he came and he taught all this stuff and he's like yeah I'm your I'm your perfect customer and then he started going into what he does and he kind of wants to do something similar in, in how he approaches students and brings them in so so yeah that was really cool um, and you know if, you never know who's going to show up at these things I was talking to a girl in another artist on YouTube's the, their, their live chats and she was from uh, Germany and 
you know, she said, oh, I'll stop by. She was here visiting friends or whatever, and she ended up showing up, so I talked to her and everything, and she's an artist, so that was cool, very cool. It's, it's just, you know, you meet a lot of really cool people, and you get a chance to just, I think more than just selling artwork, it, it really it, it really helps, you know, get you getting noticed and getting your work out there in front of people and everything. And, and so that's really cool. So we'll go back. We'll go back to the the, the art gallery here. But I kind of wanted to show you some footage of what this first Friday thing looks like, and you know, kind of you know the crowds and everything. So you know, that's one thing when you're you know when you're marketing your your artwork or when you're uh, or marketing your show, uh, you want to get you want to get a, a lot of people there, obviously. So if you can do it in you know. Uh, a location where there is a lot of street traffic and crowds um, that's great in promoting your event you probably want to start doing that probably a month or two out so I contacted local like online magazines uh, you know of course social media all the major platforms I set up a Facebook event ran some Facebook ads just tell everyone friends family co-workers uh, flyers things like that uh, you can go to the you know there are some flyers from the previous show that was before mine talking about mine or just or like you can go out on the previous like if you have an event like this go to the previous first Friday and you know you can put flyers on people's cars let them know that you're gonna be around you know that type of stuff but just kind of street level get the word out and everything like that um, and you can see there's a lot of cool stuff going on people playing you know <laughs> people playing drums on you know buckets and then there's this there's this kid out there, right here, just, you know, with a full kit, this seven-year-old just wailing away in the drums. It's pretty awesome stuff. So this, this was a great venue for me, obviously, because of the amount of traffic, but there's so many other places you can go to show your artwork. Um, you know, this, you can, like you can see people out here just setting up outside. You don't necessarily have to be in a physical space. You can have sort of like, a, you know, a tent or, you know, you can do just a, you know, a pop-up art exhibit or, or whatever. You might have to, you know, have whatever kind of street license as a vendor license you need, but tons of people out there doing this. So you can do that, you can approach coffee shops, restaurants, offices, any place where they might need to fill blank spaces because it's sort of a win-win situation. Uh, places like this need things to, you know, to hang on the wall and sometimes art can get expensive. So if you can put your artwork on, list the sale price. I'm sure you've seen uh, coffee shops and things that have stuff like that. So now, keep in mind the kind of artwork you do, obviously, if. If it's in a restaurant and you do sort of disturbing pieces that might not be good while people are eating, you want to take that into consideration. But so, for instance, my work, um, we have like these sort of retro arcades where they put things up. So I'm thinking of actually going to some of those places and because my stuff's very pop culture and everything. And I think it would look good up there. So stuff like that, um, just empty, you know, if, if there's an empty office space that isn't rented out, they may be willing to like cut sort of a, a deal for you to just do like a pop-up art exhibit because it's really it doesn't make sense for them just to have a vacant space and you can go in there and even you know do some sort of a trade out where you go in and you do some repairs and paint things and, and you can kind of leave that there for them so it's in better shape than when you found it that's that's a way to go I've even thought about setting up, you know, sort of in a window display. If it's sort of a high traffic area and it's like if it's get, you got big glass windows and it's just sort of a vacant space, maybe even displaying some of your artwork in the window with, you know, contact information, you know, where you can be found online, things like that. That might be something I, I might look into. It's uh, I'm sure I'm not the first person that's thought of that, but I I think that might I think that might work. Now, since this is the first time I've ever exhibited an art show, um, I didn't really know what to expect. So, you know, I tried to plan everything as well as I could. Ideally, you probably want to give yourself a month or two in advance to start planning things. I didn't really have, I didn't really have that much time. But, um, you know, you want to get if they have a floor plan available, you want to map out where your pieces are going to go. But you want to go in advance, you know, a week or two before kind of obviously scope out the area and kind of figure out where you're going to put things and hopefully you have help because it's going to take you a while to put up artwork. I did have some help putting everything up. It didn't take a lot of time, but it could, especially if you've got a lot of different pieces. So um, that's something you definitely want to uh, pay attention to. Um, yeah, definitely give yourself enough time to set up. Uh, things that I wasn't even expected because I do comic conventions, 
uh, I needed to buy frames for all my artwork because it looks better in frames. But the cool thing is, now that I see them in frames, I'm going to start displaying them in frames even at the comic convention. I think that'll help my stuff stand out a little bit. As far as pricing your work, uh, most galleries or art spaces like this, you, they do charge a commission. So uh, mine wasn't too bad, it was just 20%. So I did bump my prices up a little bit. But, you know, it kind of works out because you don't have to pay shipping if you're paying online and everything like that. When you're at the show, you know, be positive, smile, let people browse around, but let them know that you can help them with things. I usually just said, said, hey, I'm the artist. If you have any questions, just let me know. And, you know, don't be, don't, it's not like, hey, you know, I'm the artist, that type of thing. But just, just let people know that you can help them if they have any questions. And, you know, but usually a lot of times you'll actually be talking, try to mingle if you can. Um, and that's always when the big lines kind of start to form when you're already talking to people. But all in all, I had a great experience. Would I do it again? I don't know if I would actually go out and try to find gallery work, but people approach me. I think, yeah, I would definitely do it again because I had a lot of fun. So that was really fun. I'm glad I got a chance to exhibit at an art show like this. And uh, yeah, excellent experience. I, I think I would probably would do it again. Um, I might need a little break because it, it took a lot of planning and a lot of things like that. But uh, it was definitely a cool thing. And I would, I would urge you guys, uh, and it doesn't really matter what kind of artwork you do because I never really consider myself like a gallery artist. Um, I always consider myself more of a commercial artist, but you know, there's galleries for everything and there's places to show your art no matter what kind of artwork you do. There's always, there's always somebody that's going to be interested in the kind of artwork you do and it's just a matter of finding where those people are and trying to find a way to see if you can put your artwork up there or uh, adjacent to or somewhere around where those people are. Yeah, and if so if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments section. I will be happy to answer if there was anything maybe I left out or you saw something in the video like oh what's that all about or whatever or I've got a question about exhibiting now keep in mind that I've only done one show so there, there might be you know I'll try to help you out as much as I can there's there's a lot of people who have a lot more experience than this than me but um, but if you don't have any experience at all and uh, you know and of course my experience may vary because with time and doing more shows you learn more about the ins and outs and all that um, you know my show could have gone a hundred different ways it went it was very positive experience for me but it's uh, but you never know so so I will try to help you out if I can just leave a message in the comment section and other than that I will see you guys later that is all hey everyone thanks for joining me here in the art lab there's a lot of other great content on the channel so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing if you're an aspiring evil genius visit surfworks.com for all your mad science supply needs and if you want to contact me hit me up in the comment section or follow me on social media I'm looking forward to it I'll see you then